My name is Neil Mueller. I work on the product team at VMware specializing in the virtualization of business critical applications like Oracle. Customers often ask me if Oracle supports running Oracle Database, Oracle Rack, and Oracle eBusiness Suite on VMware. The simple answer is yes. Since 2007, Oracle has supported running on VMware. Now recently, Oracle extended the support statement to include Oracle Rack. Here's the Oracle Metalink support statement. The number is 249-212.1. VMware also has a support statement of our own that lets our customers opt to have VMware take accountability of any Oracle issue until it's resolved. Oracle's support for VMware and the benefits that Oracle DBAs get from virtualizing has resulted in a trend. The trend is that customers are virtualizing Oracle at an accelerated pace. In fact, thousands of customers have already virtualized their largest and most business critical Oracle instances. One customer in particular, American Tire Distributors, worked with a VMware partner named House of Brick to virtualize their Oracle eBusiness Suite and their Oracle Rack. Their Oracle Rack now runs at 70% utilized as opposed to 10% before it was virtualized. Now at the same time that American Tire Distributors is saving money by utilizing their infrastructure at higher utilization rates, they're also benefiting from increased infrastructure agility by using vSphere features like vMotion and Hot Ed CPU. Let's take a second and pass the ball to Kanan. He's going to show you a demo of two of the biggest reasons why customers are virtualizing their Oracle environments. The first feature I would like to demo is a vMotion of a live Oracle Rack VM. In this environment, there are four Rack nodes. You can see them labeled as VM Aura Rack 1 through 4. These Rack nodes are provisioned on four hosts labeled by their IP addresses. We would like to do a hardware maintenance on host 2. To make this happen, we will need to do vMotion Rack node 2 from host 2 to host 4. This vMotion occurs without taking down the rack node down. Inside SwingBench, we can see a slight performance drop during vMotion. But this does not affect the users of the business critical application. This is not possible in a non-virtualized Oracle rack environment. The second feature I would like to demo is the hard add of a vCPU to a live Oracle database through a Linux VM. Hard add is useful in case of an Oracle database needs additional compute power without powering down the VM or shutting down the database. In this environment, the database VM has two vCPUs. Within ESX top, we can see that the VM has 182% out of 200% utilized. Database VM needs more compute to process more transactions. To do this, we need to increase from two vCPU to four vCPUs. After adding two vCPU, the ESX top now shows 265% out of 400% utilized. Transaction count has more than tripled to 153,000 transactions per minute. All of this happened without taking the database VM down or affecting users of the business critical application. OK, Kanan Manin just showed you two of the biggest reasons why customers are virtualizing their Oracle databases. To join the thousands of customers virtualizing Oracle, your next step is to read one of our deployment guides, which has best practices on virtualizing Oracle Database, Oracle Rack, and Oracle eBusiness Suite. You can find these at vmware.com slash go slash Oracle. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.